It's not about mocking. It's not name callings. And you see it amongst them. Yay. Thank you all. They do. Thank you all. We're eat we're okay. He's gonna we have someone down. They're treating him, they're getting him some water and it's good. He's going to get up. You guys need some water, too? We'll ask him. Teddy, can you see if they have some more water? That'd be great. Take care of your neighbors. There we go. There we go. All right. All right, folks. Hey, they're getting him taken care of. I uh, will stay. Uh, I don't want to be too lighthearted. I thought about doing the Minnesota Rouser, but I thought that might be too much over here on you. Look, we'll get we'll get him taken care of. You know what this is about. This is about when they talk about the freedoms that we heard. And freedom in education means that our teachers aren't saddled with crippling debt when they go into this. It's student loan debt. And I'll tell you what a big part of this is. We settle our political differences not through violence, but through our votes. The question is pretty simple. This election is all about asking that question. Which direction will this country go in? Donald Trump knows the direction he wants to take us. He wants to take it back. He wants to do the things that you saw, but be very clear. Don't believe him when he plays dumb. He knows exactly what he's talking about. He knows exactly what Project 2025 will do in restricting and taking our freedoms. He knows that it rigs the economy for the super rich. If he gets a chance to go back to the White House, it will be far worse than it was four years ago. <laughs> Raising costs for the middle class, repeating, repealing the Affordable Care Act, gutting Social Security and Medicare, the very safety nets that protect people when they're down, and of course, banning abortions across this country, with or without Congress. This is where we talk to our neighbors. Donald Trump is not for you or your family. And Trump's running mate shares those same dangerous and backward beliefs. You know, just like all of us in regular America, we, uh, we go to Yale, and then we have our careers funded by Silicon Valley billionaires, and then you write a book about the place you grew up and you trash that place. Come on, that's not who Wisconsin is. That's not who Minnesota is. We're better than that. We're better than that. One of the best parts of this job is going to be, I can't wait till the debate. <laughs> so. Look, I, I've done this enough, and I know bullies, uh, and I'm not a name caller, but what I am as a teacher, I observe things. So I want to tell you, what I observed and you've deserved about, you observed about these guys when you see them, that it's a very clear thing. Yes, they are creepy and, and weird as hell. You see it. You see it. This is not normal. This is not normal behavior. Nobody's asking for this crazy stuff. So I'll tell you what. You heard it from the vice president. You've heard her talk about this. We're sure the hell not going back. We're not going back. We are not going back. We are not going back. We damn sure aren't, but it's even more than that. This is a campaign about where we're going, and that's a future where everyone matters and everyone's included. Kamala Harris, she believes in the freedom to make your own choices. She believes in opportunity for every single person to join the middle class. And she believes in the promise of America.
Thank you, Madam Vice President.